I don't do special transitions. I don't do music in the background. I don't care about any of that. The message is what matters. None of that other stuff. I don't give a single care about. Hondo. Hondo. Hello again. I was kind of mean to Tim, but he deserves it. Everyone who pretends to speak for God, everyone who pretends to be a theologian, to get in front of an audience and declare God's truth, they deserve criticism. This is what James said. Do not, do not seek to be teachers because you will incur a greater condemnation. And that's what I do too. I deserve judgment just like these guys do. I deserve to be judged. I deserve to be criticized if I say something that's unbiblical. I watch my videos. I watch my own videos again and again to see did I say that correctly? Did I express myself correctly? Did I use the correct words? Can they be compared to scripture? Also because I think I have the truth. Not because that, not because I am you know, amazing. My videos are kind of half-assed and, and the production quality is not great. But I believe that I have the truth. I believe that I have God's truth that, that God has revealed, not just to me, but all of his godly men all throughout history, all the, all the, all the reformers, all the Puritans. I listen to my videos because I, I forget the things that I say. And I need to be reminded that God spoke through me, that God teaches me things. But Tim Stratton, he just decides, okay, I got this new word that I really like, and I'm going to apply it to God. And that's, you know, new things are cool, right? No, they're not. They're not. We have old words for reasons, for good reasons, because they're precise, because they're well-defined, because you know what they mean. So you can't just take a new word and apply it to God just because you like it. It sounds really good. I argue with this guy. He said, well, the atheists don't like Calvinism. Who cares? Who cares what the atheists like? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, no, the atheists don't like what I believe. So I guess I better change my beliefs. You need to think. Think about what you believe. Think about what you're saying. Know the Bible inside and out. Before you open your mouth. I've been thinking lately, why do I do this? Why do I criticize all these people? And the main reason is I cannot stand the things that they believe. I cannot stand the things that they promote, the things that they say about God. This imported concept of individuals being elected to eternal salvation. I've been a teacher for about 20 years. And when you teach, you have this assumption that most of your students, 90, 95% of your students want to learn because they do. Even a subject that's like difficult, like math and boring. I'm a math teacher and I love math. I love teaching math. And when I teach math, I start at the very beginning and I, and I'm excited about it and my students, 95% of them get excited about it too because they learn things. But when I get on this channel, I have these guys that don't want to learn anything. And so it gets very frustrating. They already think they know everything. So I'm used to students who want to learn, who know that they're not experts. But everyone here is an expert. Everyone here already knows everything. Now that I grasp the utter and limitless perfection of God. I, I grasp the limitless greatness of God. <laughs> he said that. He actually said that. Tim Stratton, come on. Come on. And I know he didn't mean what it sounded like he said, but that's the problem. He doesn't know how to talk and express the things that he means. So even if he has the greatest theology, he should not be talking about it because he he would just confuse people and this is a problem that i have with 
R.C. Sproul, a great theologian, very confusing. Love the big words. Love to talk in Latin. Simul, Eustus, et peccator. No one speaks Latin. We don't care about Latin. It doesn't, it really doesn't add anything. I do this channel for two reasons. To, to glorify God. To explain the greatness of my God. I am here on this tiny little channel. This tiny little channel with crappy little videos. Just me talking. To tear down to the ground all of this wicked, false, free will, pagan nonsense. This anti-Christian, atheistic heresy that I hate, that I absolutely detest. That's what I'm here for. I can't do it. Only God can do it, however he wants to do it. But that is, that is my goal. And I don't care who they are. The bigger the better because the bigger they are, the more influence they have. You know, but I don't have a lot of influence. I am entirely dependent on God guiding who he wants to this channel. I can't depend on YouTube. I can't depend on my flashy videos. I don't have a team. My teams. Like Alan Parr, he has a team. I don't do special transitions. I don't do music in the background. I don't care about any of that. The message is what matters. None of that other stuff. I don't give an I don't give a single care.